Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how you can edit or update data in your Microsoft Access database using your Visual Studio C Sharp Windows Form application. Now in this video, I am going to show you how you can delete your data from the database using your C Sharp Windows Form application. In the earlier two videos, I have shown you how to save data and how to edit data. So let's uh, add a new button here. To delete the data and I will resize it and I will change the text of uh, this button as delete and the name of the button as this button name as btn underscore delete okay and let's change the font size also so font 416 okay so now once we have the button what I'm going to do is I will just select my save uh, button or edit button you can uh, choose either one of them and just take the code from here from uh, either one of uh, these button click event save button click event or add button click event because we are going to use the same code just the query will change so i will just double click this delete button and once again i will paste this code in here and this code i think you must know by now that what this code is doing this is opening the connection with the database and then we create a command we give the connection to the command and then we create a query and then we pass this query to this command and this this line will execute your query and if any error occurs this will be catch in this uh, try catch block right so if you still don't understand how this is happening then you need to watch my earlier videos okay so let's build the query to delete the data from the database so now we have uh, this query to delete the database so this query will be delete not de delete from your uh, table name so your table name uh, my table name is employee data so i will write employee data and then just write where so we want to uh, tell the database where we want to delete our data so we use where clause for that where eid is equal to then give these double quotes and in between give these two plus sign and then here we will give just the name of our employee id text box okay so this is my employee id and on the basis of my employee id i want to delete the data in the database right so i will just copy the name of my employee uh, text box employee id text box and i will just write dot text so this will be my query delete from my table name which is employee data where your column name on the basis of which you want to delete the data and then the value uh, which you want to pass to uh, your column on the basis of which you want to delete the data and I will change this message as data deleted for example okay so I will run the program once again and I hope no error occurs I will give username and password it goes to the second form and let's see what we can delete so for example, I want to delete the data from employee ID 16, this data. Okay. So let's give here 16. And you don't even need to give 
all the other fields because we are deleting on the basis of employee ID right so just give the employee ID and just click delete and you see data deleted and once you go to your access database you see it's deleted you can refresh it and now you have only 15 employees you can delete employee ID 15 also so I will write 15 and just click delete data deleted once you go to the database and refresh your data you see your data is deleted so in this way you can delete your data using C sharp windows form application in your Microsoft access database I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.